What's up guys, Bear Bear Stormbreaker here with a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Here we have the Ultimate Optimus Prime. So this is the box when you buy him. He comes in a cardboard box, has some flames on it, Transformers Dark of the Moon on it. So this is the nor this is the outside box. Very simple, nothing much to it. So I'm like, oh, so let's take it out of this box. Alright, so he's out of that box. As you can see right here, you see Optimus Prime, Ultimate Optimus Prime, got some of the flames. Right here, it's kind of, it comes out, like three-dimensional. Um, it says Transformers Dark Moon on it. You can see him in here, but it's also like he's in like another packaging. So yeah, this one, it's simple as well. Uh, not much to it. So let's take it out of this one. Alright, so here we have it unboxed again. Out of all the Comic-Con stuff, this one is packaged the best probably. I mean, there's so many packaging things on this. I mean, there's like three boxes you have to go through to get to them. So you see right here it says Comic-Con 2011. Um, the Autobot symbol. Another Autobot symbol on the top. Also, it comes out three-dimensional. It says uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. You see right here, it says Holland Energon since 1984. Um, same thing over here. Yeah, so let's take him out of this packaging now. Alright, so here we go. Got him out of the box. So this is it. Um, he does come with stickers to put on right here. As you can see. But I didn't really want to put stickers on it, so I didn't bother. Um, Alright, so here we go. You see right here, very good detail on him. Um, I believe they sell this same exact one in stores. But I guess the only thing about it being... Comic Con wise, it was the packaging. I mean, they, there's a lot of work done that packaging. I mean, there was like magnets holding some stuff together. And it was a very well made um, box package thing. Um, there you go. Um, good sculpting on him. He moves very nicely. You see the Autobot symbol right there. He can, he can disconnect from it. As you can see, just a simple um, trailer. Now, let's transform Optimus so we can see what he looks like in robot mode. Alright, so here he is in the middle. As you can see, um, I like the feet. I really like the way the feet look. Yeah, um, very good um, sculpting on it and everything. Um, you see the face right there. The arms are kind of weird, but like uh, you can see right here the size comparison. You have the uh, deluxe class, um, War for Cybertron Optimus Prime, and then you have the Revenge of the Fallen Leader class Optimus Prime. So you see the size comparison, he's medium, I, mean, he, I think he's like a Voyager size. But once you put the whole trailer on him, you'll see how much bigger he really is. I mean, it's incredible. So this is what he looks like. Um, not much to him. Very simple. Good paint job on him. Nothing really, no energy blades, no guns. Nothing special pops out of him. It's just him. He doesn't talk or anything. So that's just him. Alright, so let's transform the trailer now. Alright, so we have the trailer transformed now. And as you can see, you used to think the leader class Optimus was big. Now look at that. I mean, that thing towers over him. It's, it's huge, I mean. You can see right here. Just how big it is. In size comparison. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Just being the trailer transformed. So Optimus hasn't been put into it yet. So this is a trailer by itself. Now, let's put Optimus Prime into it. And see what it really looks like. Alright guys, here he is. You can see the size comparison again. And wow, I mean he is huge. So let's move leader class out of the way. Because we don't really care about him right now, do you? Let's look at this guy. So you can see all the detail put into this. I mean it is just awesome. There are the, the instructions for this, there are so many instructions for this. I mean there had to be like a hundred something like parts to it. Um, as you can see, the arms, 
face. All the wings that come out. Alright, let's put it down so you can see. Alright, so articulation wise, his arms can move up and down. They can bend a little bit at the joints. Um, his head can move. He can't do a full 360. Uh, the legs cannot move. So they can move out and inward, but that's it. They can't bend or anything else besides that. Um, all right, so let's take out. He also has a can with him. So let's do that. Let me set it up for you. Okay, so when he adds his cannon to it, I mean, he's even bigger than before. You see the cannon. Great detail put into it. The Autobot symbol right there. And then Optimus has like this, like, this thing comes over his face. It gives him like this, like, targeting, like, um, this screen over his face. So, like, when he's, like, shooting, I guess. Um, let's see. There's buttons here. Yeah, when you push that one, it lights up. Makes noises. When you push this one, let's see. Oh yeah, that's like, if you push it a lot, it, you can do rapid fire on that thing. Now this red thing, when you pull it back... I am Optimus Prime. So you see there, it's really cool, like if you pull it, it all like activates and all that. So as you can see, this thing is huge. Um, it is amazing. I love it. It was totally worth it. I highly recommend it. At least, if you can't get the Comic-Con one, at least go look for it in stores. Because, I mean, this thing is huge. It's awesome. Alright, well, this has been my review for the San Diego Comic-Con Ultimate Optimus Prime. Thanks for watching, and this is BRB Stormbreaker.